Hello everyone, it's Bola from Clever Girl Finance and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about why investing matters and why you really want to care about putting your money to work for you. Well, simply said, investing your money is how you put your money to work for you and how your money grows. So putting your money in a savings account for the short term is great, especially for saving for things like your emergency fund, or you're saving for a house down payment or to buy a car or other goals in which you need the money accessible in less than five years. It's a great idea to put that money in a savings account. However, when it comes to saving for and planning for the long term, for instance, saving for retirement or your other bigger financial goals, then you want to look to invest to help you grow your money, especially when you consider the really low savings account interest rates that exist right now and the fact that inflation is going to eat away at the balance of your money that's in your savings account. And so you want to think about ways to beat inflation and earn more returns on your savings than in a simple savings account. And investing is the way to do that. So what is it about investing that grows your money? Well, there are two things. Number one is the history of the stock market, and number two is the magical power of compounding. So the stock market has been around for over 100 years, and in that time, the average rate of return has been about 8%. And that means that despite the market dips and the market peaks, the average return on investing money over the long term has been about 8%. And that beats saving your money in a savings account at the really low interest rates that exist today, and it definitely beats inflation, which eats away at your money in the U.S. at about 25 to 3% a year. So 8% on average for long-term investing in the stock market is great. The second way through which investing helps your money grow is through compounding. And compounding is basically when your interest earns interest for you. So I'll give you a basic example. So let's say you invest $1,000 today and you earn 10% on it. At the end of one year, you will have $1,100. If you leave the $100 that you earned alone and don't invest anything else, at the end of the second year of earning another 10%, you'll have $110 in earnings with an overall total of $1,210. If you leave that money alone for 10 years and still earn 10% every year, you'll end up with $2,593. Over several years, it adds up nicely, and that is the power of compounding. But what if you don't want to invest your money in the stock market or you want to do more than just invest in the stock market? Well, there are other avenues in which you can invest your money. You can invest in real estate and you can invest in small business. However, whichever way you choose to invest, you want to make sure that you do your research and that you're looking at investing as a long term endeavor. So you should be investing for the long term. So the three key ways to invest are through the stock market, in real estate and through small business. And like I said, it's all about doing your research, making sure you understand what you're putting your money into and investing for the long term. So a couple things to keep in mind when you start thinking about investing is that you can't predict the market. You can't predict how the stock market will perform or how the real estate market will perform or even how business will perform. However, past trends, the historical data can guide you to help you making smart decisions around your investments. You also want to keep in mind that because economies are cyclical, they're going to impact your investments, whether you're investing in the stock market, in real estate or in business. And so there are going to be times where the economy is doing really amazing and things are booming and stock prices and real estate prices and business is just doing really, really well. And there are also going to be times when things are not doing so great and we're in a recession and the stock market is down, real estate prices are down and business is not just doing so well. However, it's important to keep in mind that investing is all about the long term. And so as you think about those things, you also want to consider what type of investor you are and how much risk you can take on. This way, when the market is in a decline, and things are going poorly, depending on the amount of risk you've taken, you are not that heavily impacted. And so again, it's all about understanding the type of investor you are, doing your research, and keeping in mind that investing is for the long term. And if you're not quite sure what kind of investor you are, then I'm going to put a link in the notes below or somewhere on this screen where you can go take a quiz on my website to determine what kind of investor you are. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and be sure to subscribe to this channel and tell your friends about it. Also head over to my website at clevergirlfinance.com. I have a ton of awesome content there as well. And be sure to join the conversation on Instagram, on my Instagram page. We have a ton of fun talking about all things money. I'll see you guys in my next video.